Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with my life as Kikai, helping you with your beauty and makeup journey. On this channel, I do a lot of product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice in the hopes of being able to enrich, educate, and entertain the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be another part of my makeup collection. And this time, I'm going to be sharing with you my Jaclyn Hill Collaborations makeup products. I almost feel kind of redundant showing these makeup products to you guys. Like I want to do some swatches, but then I feel like, oh, you've already seen that a million times all over YouTube. So I'm not going to go too in depth into the shadows and the shades and you know what the palette is about because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you would have gone down some rabbit trail to get to this video. <laughs> so you would have already seen everything that all of these products are about. But I did want to create a video just so that I have all of these products in one video. And I want to keep going with my makeup collection video series. So while I don't have a lot of her makeup products, I know that they are super hot on the market right now. And there's a lot of people searching for things that she's collabed with brands and makeup products she's created with them. So today, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. If you want to see what makeup products I have that Jaclyn Hill has created with brands and makeup companies, then just keep on watching. I know the first thing that most people would share would naturally be the first thing that Jaclyn Hill came out with, which is the Jaclyn Hill Favorites eyeshadow palette that she made in collaboration with Morphe brushes, which everybody knows that. Unfortunately, that is the one thing that I was not able to jump on the bandwagon with because when she first started releasing these products, for one, I didn't have money <laughs> and I didn't know what to do with it. This was years ago at a time when I was first discovering and first starting out in makeup. So I didn't know what to do with it. I felt that it wasn't a good investment at the time. Whereas now I feel like I wish I had bought it because I mean, it's just something that would be so good to have in my collection. Just something that is the first thing that Jacqueline Hill ever created. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. The first thing I'm going to share today is the Becca Champagne Pop Pressed Highlighter in Champagne Pop. <laughs> Everyone knows what this one is. This one is just so beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's, I'm trying to open it on the wrong end. As you can see, it's brand new, unused. The plastic bit was still in it that fell out just now. I know it's it was kind of stupid to buy this and not use it, especially when I actually bought her face palette as well. But this is the one that I have been using. This one I haven't even touched, so I might even, you know, later on if I still haven't touched it or used it in the next 12 months or so, I might pass it on or gift it to someone else. That's her Champagne Pop Highlighter. This one is really super gorgeous. I know it is because I actually have used it, but I have used it from her Champagne Collection Face Palette. This one is beautiful. I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of Champagne Pop and what's the other one called? Prosecco Pop. So this one's Champagne, which one's which? <laughs> I don't even know which one's which. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some Champagne Pop and some Prosecco Pop and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that to the face. I already do have some highlighter on, but I kind of feel like I want a little bit more. I actually really like the highlighter that I have on at the moment. It is the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter, and it's so fun. It's not like a chunky, glittery sort of highlight, which I really, really like. Bam! That's so pretty. I don't know why I don't use this more often. I really should. Like, I mean, I have it and I spent a crap ton of money on it, so I should use it. I feel like I want a little bit of blush because I didn't apply some of that in my makeup application today. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of each of these. Oh, I washed my makeup brushes yesterday and this one's still a little bit wet. I'm going to go in with a little bit of each of them. I don't feel like I need a whole lot because I've already got a lot of color going on. On my eyes just a tiny little bit of extra color never hurt just blending that in to achieve seamlessness seamlessness as John McLean says give this video a thumbs up if you know what I'm referring to I checked out John McLean's videos my initial feeling my initial reaction was terror I was like what am I watching like is, is this person human I don't know I could listen to him speak for hours it's almost like ASMR but 
not ASMR. It's just his voice and his tone. And the way he speaks is so refined and soothing and elegant. Seamless. You know, it kind of makes me feel so uncouth. <laughs> speaking in my own language, but it'd be completely unlike me to speak in the way that he does, even if I do admire the way that he speaks, you know, I'm just trying to keep it real here. But right, I think that's enough blush. So that's the Jaclyn Hill face palette. Moving on, y'all know what the next one is I'm going to be talking about. This one is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. You all have seen this everywhere, but you know what? I actually haven't used this a whole lot yet, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I kind of feel guilty going into the shades and touching them, but you know what? You know what? For the sake of this video, I'm going to do some swatches of what I think are the most prettiest colors in this palette, even though I really haven't touched it. If you can see in the camera, I've really only gone into these and this, like touch them, swatch them, not actually use them on my eyes. I'm going to do some swatches because it's about time that I dug into this. Oh, that's pretty. <gasps> that's nice. Oh my goodness, I need to create an eye look with this. The reason why I haven't really used this eyeshadow palette on my channel yet before is because I feel like it's just, it's been and done, you know? It's overdone, it's just, it's just done. And I do have her vault collection as well. Where's my wipes? They're just so pretty. You know, lucky there's girls in the world because, you know, girls is what keep the economy going. They just keep buying stuff. I bought this when it was like sold out, and then restocked, then sold out, then restocked. So I was just waiting around for it, honestly, to come back. I was just waiting for the hype to die down so I could just buy it, not without having a full-on anxiety checking out and just hoping that it didn't go out of stock while I was checking out, you know? So I really want to create some makeup looks using this palette. It's a lot of neutrals. Looking at it now, there's really only a few pops of color in here. I don't know why I haven't used it yet. I think it's just because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I use, you know, more than this one. But anyway. All right, and last, but absolutely not least, I have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection. I have all four because I never do things by halves. It would drive me nuts to just buy one palette and not have the whole collection. So I bought all four because <laughs> I'm extra like that. So this is all four. I am sure you have seen all of these floating around the internet by now. Freaking love these palettes. I want to do a lot more makeup tutorials using these. I have already done a makeup tutorial using Dark Magic and that video will be going up later this week. I also have done another makeup tutorial using the palette Bling Boss and that one's already up on my channel but I do want to do another makeup tutorial using this and focusing more on the more maroony reddish sort of shades because the look I created on my last video using this, I created a purple sort of look and like I love purple. I feel like it looks good on me. I don't know, you're, feel free to disagree, I really don't care, but I feel like purple looks good on me. And it's the only time I will wear a pink lip. I'm normally a red lip girl. The only time I will wear a pink lip is if I'm wearing purple eyeshadow. There's a fact for ya. The next two palettes are ones that I haven't even dug into yet. So these are ones that I still want to create makeup tutorials using, but I'm kind of waiting for the trend to die down because there's no point me filming a video using an eyeshadow palette that has already been done a hundred million times and people are viewing over mine. So I kind of want to wait till the trend dies down using these palettes. This is probably an autumn palette, but I mean, it's spring here now, but you know, it, it's autumn somewhere, I guess. <laughs> so this one is Armed and Gorgeous, and it is extremely gorgeous. Look at it, look at those colors. I got a good palette. My, my shades blend out really nicely. The only issue I had with the shadows were the matte shadows, and that was when my eye was watering and it wouldn't stick. But I think that'll be any eyeshadow you find. Won't stick to an eyelid that's watering like crazy, so. And the last palette is also, again, one that I have not used yet. And this one is Ring the Alarm. This one has more brown, reddish, neutral tones. Well, not so much neutral, but this, for me, the shades in this palette would probably create more of like an everyday makeup look. Like, I know, I'm extra. I create everyday makeup looks with like bright shadows. But this one I want to really dig into and create 
some sort of eye look for you guys. So this one I don't actually see a whole lot of makeup tutorials using this. It's more of the other three that I see. But yeah, that's it for my Jaclyn Hill Collaborations makeup products. I know it was just a short video, but I'm trying to optimize my makeup collection video series in chunks that are different, you know, not so much chunks like primer, foundations blushes although i will do videos like that but it's a lot more unique to be lumping the products that i'm sharing in lumps like this like jaclyn hill collaboration products or juvia's place eyeshadow palettes or over lip liquid lipstick products you know not so much lipsticks eyeshadow palettes because honestly also i have so many that that video would be a million years long so and you know people don't want to see that shit maybe it's better to do small short videos like this in smaller consumable chunks <laughs> so if you guys did enjoy this video please definitely give it a thumbs up comment down below which of these products you have like which ones do you enjoy using which ones have you maybe got a video up you know creating eyeshadow looks using these palettes if you do leave it in the description box down below i might even go check out your video and leave a comment and a like on it so yeah that's it for this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe follow me on all my other social media instagram twitter and facebook all of them are life as geek Eye. thank you so much for being here and i will see you in my next video bye all right and ask